information may be solving a very old mystery. Thousands of years ago, woolly mammoths roamed New England. That much we knew. But now we know that humans may have lived side by side with them. And a case of serendipity might have helped scientists make that discovery. WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff spoke with the man who made that find. Mastodon skeletons in museums around the area date back about 15,000 years, long before humans. But an accidental new discovery is changing the timeline and answering the question, did woolly mammoths and humans walk around New England together? It was all by chance. I uh, just bent down and looked at the tag and it said Mount Holly Mammoth, Mount Holly, Vermont. Nathaniel Kitchell, a postdoctoral fellow at Dartmouth College, was visiting the Hood Museum of Art on campus to check out some Native American artifacts in storage. On the same shelf in that same New England section, I noticed a really fairly large bone. Um, and fossil bone, uh, especially that that's particularly old, often has a distinctive look to it. It's it was quickly recognized as a rib bone, originally discovered in the 1840s. Presumably somehow fallen into a pond that then became a bog, and in the absence of oxygen, its bones were preserved in this very, very wet environment. But at some point in that long history and those travels, uh, the remains of the Mount Holly mammoth seem to have become mixed up. Now identified by Kitchell, the bone was sent for radiocarbon dating. And it returned a date of around 12,800 years ago. And why that is particularly interesting is because the, some of the first evidence we have for the very first native populations to move into northern New England is also around 12,800 years ago. The soil in New England is pretty acidic, so bones tend to dissolve quickly. Fossils of any kind, especially mastodons, are rare. And prior to this, the age ranges for mammoths and mastodons uh, was quite a bit older than that. And so this was providing the first indication, the first solid indication that those two populations, elephant and human, may have seen each other. I think it's an intriguing possibility that the first humans may have actually shared the landscape with the very last mammoths. Kitchell and the Dartmouth team have begun further research with more sophisticated archaeological techniques to explore what else is hidden at Mount Holly. Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Don't you think the accidental discovery is even more exciting than the rest? Absolutely. And the fact that there were factors that made it unlikely we would have ever been able to carbon date those bones, but we were able to, it's just Amazing. one more great part of the story. Like Indiana Jones. Right. <laughs> well, coming up here, how